finally, accountant Larry Levy is ready to pick up the tab at his delicious yet budget-friendly pick. It's located in Coconut Creek, and it's called Papa Amigos. Hi, my name is Brian Faith. I am the owner of Papa Amigos. So the brand Papa Amigos came about early 2020. My fiance and I decided, you know, who doesn't like tacos and sushi? The location here in Coconut Creek came about because our food truck in 2020 became so busy because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We were an outside brand. We really kind of just you know, launched our, our name out there. It really shot off and we, we really needed a, a commissary kitchen. So this was an old landlubbers prior to us and we needed a kitchen. It came on market. We were able to purchase this and, you know, for a commissary kitchen a year and a half later, I mean, we have a great restaurant and a great community supporting us. Some of our most popular menu items, kind of one of the main menu items that put us on the map was our birria tacos. We started, you know, our version of the birria tacos as a spinoff. It's a great Mexican dish, and we kind of brought it to South Florida. Papa Migos is a fusion brand of fun food and good vibes. So what is this? Is it a taco bar? Is it a raw <laughs> bar? Explain it to me, Larry. Well, we've been there many times. It started off as a food truck that my wife went to, uh -huh. and then they opened up this restaurant. And so okay. we've been going there. Um, there we eat mostly the Mexican food, but they also have. Um, so it's not so fused together. It's one or the other, or do they? I combine think some they. Things? I have just all the Mexican all the time. I haven't went ventured. over there, ventured into the Japanese side, but when I've seen it, it looks really good. So Lorraine, tell me a little bit about Papa Amigos when you walked in, what was it like? Oh, I just love the atmosphere. And, and again, I didn't expect what I saw when I came in there. It was just a beautiful bar area and very open feeling to the restaurant, very friendly. Like you said, it's kind of a neighborhood feeling to it. Um, and the, the servers were so wonderful. They, they said, you know, sit wherever you want, just very casual about greeting us. And it was uh, a real good neighborhood feel. Tell me a little bit about location. Right off the main road in a little shopping center on the corner end, plenty of parking. No, no, no issues with parking there. You don't have to valet. No valet, Great. plenty of parking. They had outdoor seating also. So oh, did they? That's nice yeah. to have. Yeah, that. it's always on, nice. On a yeah. beautiful day, you could sit out and enjoy a meal. So let's talk a little bit, Larry, about what you had this last time. I know you've been there a few times, so let's talk about the last time that you went. Okay, so we had the Mexican corn. Street corn, Mexican street corn. Street corn. Me Mexican street corn. So we had that, which was really good. Last time we had it when was we it were on the cob or off the cob? On the cob. On the cob, so it was called elote. There's okay. different, yeah, if it's off the cob, it's called something. Okay, like. okay. And so did it have cheese and, cheese and, and spices. Cheese and spices and, yeah. Mm. And what else? You had it like a surf and turf? Yeah, they have these quesadillas. Usually we have, I think they're called borelli, borella? Um, borriga. Borriga. Yeah. So yeah. it mixture with that and we had, they called it surf and turf. So they had that meat. What was the surf? Um, shrimp. Okay. So it was really good and it's in the quesadilla. Did you drink anything? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, every day they have a margarita special. So what so was the special when you That day were there? was a kiwi margarita. How was that? Can you taste kiwi through a margarita? Well, not, not really, but a little but bit. The little seeds this, are there probably, yeah. Yum. Yeah, okay. know, we've been there when they've had coconut margaritas, you know. Nice. We always see what the margarita of the day is. I like The this. daily margarita. And what did you have, Lauren? We were there on Taco Tuesday. Yay. I didn't know. I, I didn't do know. Do they celebrate Taco Tuesday? Yes, they do. And the half price drinks. We had the coconut margarita. It was oh. delicious. Oh, I loved wow. it. You had birria nachos, right? Yeah, on the on that. Oh, it was delicious. I never had that meat before. It was so tender. Oh, the birria meat. Delicious. Yeah, the birria meat. Delicious. Yeah. delicious. We also tacos. had because it was Taco Tuesday. We also had some of their special oh, shrimp Tuesday. taco. <laughs> shrimp tacos. Shrimp tacos. It was How delicious. Was yeah. Oh. Amazing. Were they fried, grilled, sauteed? Uh, they, they tasted like a coconut shrimp. It was oh. like a coconut shrimp taco. Interesting. Yeah, it was very good. Okay. How about you, Alec? So I had the uh, spicy tuna taco. I was like, why mm. not? You know, like, I've tried the Mexican food already, so, like, let me try a spin. Let me do a, an in-between. It was a really interesting take on Mexican and Asian tacos. It was, like, diced tuna and with, like, a spicy mayo sauce on top. Was it like a tartare? Yeah, it was almost like a tartare and a taco, and the taco shell itself was like, uh, I don't know what they're called, but it's like, you know, like that black wrap that they wrap the sushi in? Like a nori? Yeah, it was like a, nor it was like a nori taco shell. Okay. So it was really cool. 
the taste was actually pretty good. It was a little too spicy for my liking, but it was really good. For dessert, you said dulce de leche, but how was it plated, the dulce de leche? Do you know? Do you uh, remember your dessert? Yeah, we had the cheesecake. It was home style. Oh, it was dulce de leche cheesecake. Yeah, it was home style homemade cheesecake. And that was probably one of the best cheesecakes I've ever had. It was really rich in flavor. It was thick. And it was a really good portion size, too. You know, to share for two people, mm -hmm. perfect. Well, Larry, Papa Amigos was your pick. Sum it up for us. A favorite go-to, quick, always tasty, plenty of food, and we have a good time there. Lorraine? I want to go back there for the dessert. It was so delicious. <laughs> Dolce de leche cheesecake made by the owner's mom was delicious. Alec? I'd say the same. Cheesecake, it's a go-to. If you want dessert, that's a place to go. Okay. You can have your pick of tacos or sushi at Papa Amigos, located at 6370 North State Road 7, Suite 120 in Coconut Creek. They're open daily for lunch and dinner with happy hour Monday to Saturday. Reservations are not accepted. The average price for dinner without drinks is about $40.